sunshine and lovely jazz. Um, Alan Derrick is out now with Keith, uh, which is one of our friends, a lovely guy, and he's going home tonight. So I think they're going out a bit shopping. I've just woken up because we've been out last night and we came home a bit late. And I'm just sitting in the shade if I'm in it before. I'm going to have a dip in the pool. The pool. And I'm going to try and work on my tan because I want to get brown. So yeah, yeah, I'm wearing my Beckham's, the Victoria Beckham's silly glasses. It's just lovely here. Um, the internet is very, very uh, plain up much here. Uh, they got Vodafone in Spain, and for some reason it doesn't really work well, and I can't get on with the iPhone. So I will try later on today to walk down and see if there's a bar got Wi Fi, and maybe I could use that to get on and upload my videos. But I'm making them every day, so don't worry, guys, I'm not trying to miss out. Um, I just got problems uploading here. Um, what? Well, don't know how fast the internet connection is I got here. I believe it's not the f the very fastest because they're not here all the time and they don't use it use it every day um, while they're here anyway. So I I understand why not having a very fast connection. But there might be a pub or a bar goes <laughs> downtown where um downtown where people get um oh I could use. It's a nice fresh breeze there. I think maybe I should go down to the beach. You see my rises is quite clearing up well. Um because there's a salt water pool. A salt water pool. It's lovely here though. If I'd ever become some important some important some important or wealthy person, this would probably be the lifestyle I'd like to get. Um not lifestyle, lifestyle, but I'd like to have a, like a home like this. This would be a dream, and that's what uh, they call the place. They call it La Reva. I don't know if I've said it properly in Spanish. La Reva, or something like that. It's spelled L A R E V E. That means the dream in Spanish. La Reva, something like that. It almost sounds French, but it is Spanish. That means a dream, and it is true. This is quite a dream being here. <sighs> God, I wish I could do this more often. It's just nice to relax away from work and away from home. And I'm really enjoying it. So relaxing. I mean, you sit here and you just watch the world go by. Because we are, we are on a very high mountain site. Not a high mountain site, but on a hill. You can see, like, if I go over here, it's quite a drop. Oh, nice plant. That's because you can see the infinity pool. That's why I'm going in the water later. You can see my shade. The nice house is up there as well. And that's my bedroom. That's a guest bedroom. And then Derek's bedroom. Another guest bedroom. Kitchen. Living room. And there's also floor upstairs, but that's just like a terrace. Similar to what they got over there. You can see people are parked on the roofs here. Uh, it's fun, but it's a beautiful day here. It's not too warm, not too cold. It's just nice. So I will prepare the bed, and that's why I'm gonna lie down and have my tan. So well, I'll try working on a tan. I'll see you guys a bit later, and I'm sorry about the videos coming up late. I will keep up with them. Don't worry. Um, it's just not easy when I can't get online. So right, I'll see you guys later. Take good care. Hello, Jess. Hello, Jess. Pretty girl, aren't you? Yes. Oh, you shy at the camera. You shouldn't be. She's lovely. Beautiful, isn't she? Look at the colour. Beautiful caramel. And she's like, she's Harry Potter dog. Look. Harry Potter girl. Look, right here by the... Look, she got like a lightning. Harry Potter dog. <laughs> I'll see you later, guys. Bye. Oh, temperatures. There you go. Wonderful. Ah. <sighs> Just had a dip, and now I'm just lying here and uh, sun tanning a bit. And yep, don't look down behind because I'm wearing nothing. <laughs> I just don't, I don't want to get a pair of white underwear. Uh, if you know what I mean, when you get a sun tan, you got shorts and all that, you got to get a white, white bum. I don't want to do that, so I'm just tanning here. And uh, it's not a problem. My friends are there, so still at home, and uh, but we know each other so well, and and uh, we don't mind it. Plus the fact that some couple of their friends, which also nice people, come in later on, and they are nudist people. They like to be naked any time they possibly can. Um, so yeah, we had an accident. 
Jess, when I when I went in the water, she always liked to go and and, and bark at the water and uh, snap at the water. She likes that. For some reason, she finds it funny when when someone's in the water. And um, I just dived in, and I just just glided under the water and just oh, this is nice, and cooling down and all that. And then I suddenly could hear this splash sound. I was like, that's weird. What's that? It sounded like someone threw something in the water. Then I get up and I can see Jazz actually fell into the water and she's panicking because she can't get up. Uh, she, she keeps swimming and she don't know which corner she has to go to. So I had to guide her over so she can come up. Poor thing. Um, and she seems like she was so scared when she came up. Uh, I'm just glad I got up so quickly and managed to get her over to the steps and walk her up. Oh, look, did you see the train? That's the beauty about this place here. You can just see every everything, and it's got it's so lovely here. It's just, ugh. I wish I could live something like this. And so down there, approximately there, that's the old Citrus Church Tower, which is the the, the brand of uh, the city. Or oh, um, definitely, what that's what you're gonna see when uh, you're going to look up the city. They're gonna see that tower. Beautiful day, beautiful day. Lovely, 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 lovely. So Jazz is now inside and she's just hiding out because she's, she looks so sad on her face when I finally got her up. I mean, you can see the steps are on the corner. I got I managed to go, that's all the water where she was. Um, but she came in falling in about the middle and I had to pull, pull, push her back to the corner. But she looked so scared and sad when she came up on the edge. And I said I had a short t- chat with her. Poor thing. <laughs> But it's a good thing with a dog, it's not, um, it's salt water pool, as I mentioned, that's why it's very good for my psoriasis, is having the sun. But look at my legs, they're almost back to normal. It's like, I, I don't need my treatment down here, and the feet and everything feels lovely and soft because of the water, and, yeah, it's just so nice here. Well, I wish I could live like this one day. I hope so one day, that I could be just as lucky. So, yeah, alright, there's a car coming out, and I'm lying down to get some more suntan, which is great. Life. Blue sky. This is life. Yep. The only downside of holidays is that you know you have to go home again. And that's just sad. And hopefully you can look forward to next time. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Bye.